So I'm here in Lahaina in a strip mall, here to check out a joint. It's Filipino Asian Fusion. I didn't see that one coming. This is Joey's Kitchen. How are you guys? Joey's Kitchen is talk of the town. Order up, pinakbet, kicharon. We used to say it was our best kept secret, but I'm afraid the secret's out. Dave, fire garlic shrimp, two orders. The menu's like a Hawaiian Filipino fusion. I was born in the Philippines. I came here in 1983. My grandfather came in 1907 to be a barefoot field worker. Doing sugar canes and pineapples? Sugar cane. <laughs> That's some hard work. When people say, hey, have you been to Joey's Kitchen, what's the claim to fame? Crispy pata, pig's feet. I've known restaurants to be known for a lot of things, chef. No one's ever been known for the pig's feet. Crispy pata is something that you don't see every day. It's crispy on the outside. It's really juicy on the inside. Do you buy these by the pound? By the foot. This has got part of the shake. I just don't see pig's feet in this form very often. We got a water going here, just to get some funk out of there. We put okay. the garlic, onions. Palm vinegar? Palm vinegar. <laughs> Look at that one. Baking powder, just to give tenderize a little bit more. OK. Salt. Peppercorn? Fee sauce. Lemongrass. How long are these going to go in the water? Four to five hours. You'll pull out all the impurities. Put it into a strainer. To let them kind of congeal. Dry it in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Next. We're doing the sao sao one. Is that a Filipino sauce? Yes. I'm already speaking the language. Very good. <laughs> Soy sauce, spice vinegar. They have turmeric, chilies, and stuff like that. Fish sauce, rice wine vinegar, garlic, Hawaiian chilies, green onions. Hawaiian sea salt. I just have that as okay. a cold soup. Salty and spicy. I need more of that in my life. What do we have next, Chef? The kimchi. Kimchi's not Filipino. It's not, but you know, you live in Hawaii, everybody like eat kimchi. All right, so we have cabbage. Salted. Salt pulls out some moisture. Rinse with uh, hot water. This is a garlic and onions puree. Kimchi chili powder. All of it? All of it. You're an animal. Fish sauce. Do you yeah, own a fish it. sauce company? <laughs> and some vinegar. I could start sous chef in here. I could work the third Tuesday of next month. You hired. OK, I'm in. Now we let it sit for three, four days. They just let it ferment a little bit. I got a little kick in there, buddy. What's the next step here? Tinim tim chilies. Tinim tim. Meaning cook in vinegar. Oil, garlic, shallots, ginger, shishito peppers. Big shishito fan. Water, vinegar. Wait, wait, fish sauce. Oh, yes. Fresh cracked black pepper and a little sea salt. It's going to sit there until all the liquid evaporated. That's the garnish that goes on top. Ready to fry this pig's foot? Yes, sir. That is monster, dude. The shishito is dynamite. That crunch right there, that gigantic chicharron. See, that's the key, drying it out in the oven. There's tons of flavor connected to all those bones. It's so tender and it's so moist. The dipping sauce I need by the gallon, though. That's a game changer. And the kimchi, refreshing that palate, that's the winner bite right there. Look at that. If you're completely jonesing right now at home, you should be. Order up, crispy pata. It engages all the senses. It's crispy, it's aromatic. The sauce that comes in it, that's what makes it different. I've never tried pig's feet before. Whatever he does, I love it.